Hello there, my fellow gentlemen, and I know why you guys click onto this video. Definitely not because of my thumbnail, but probably because of your love for Cecia. And Bonnie right here is one of the new characters to be featured in the story. And uh, we have an amazing animation of her descent into the plot itself. Okay, I hope you guys haven't skipped the animation in AFK Journey so far, because so far it has been superb. A lot of epic moments. And uh, before I talk about um bonnie right here there's another character that was actually featured and that is none other than hodgkin so hodgkin has been featured in vulcan's channel uh i didn't manage to record hodgkin because i was actually out when i was clearing the story when hodgkin appear so unfortunately once you clear the battle itself or once you clear the animation and you didn't record it you won't be able to replay the story animation part so that's a little bit of a bummer but uh, we have like uh, some glance into Hodgkin's kit uh, this character Hodgkin will probably be a warrior type character or maybe like a berserker type of character based on my initial impression but we don't know yet but uh, for this one right we managed to be in front of our PC as I was playing through the story and we just unlocked Bonnie right here so Bonnie appears in the story together with Viperon in one of the last maps of Waves of Intrigue season so we are at the very end Black Thorn Sea and uh, we are pretty much done with the story so based on my current progression we are able to clear out the last map which is the Ridgebone Cove and I'll probably talk more about the ending once I clear out this map <coughs> because um this map itself is kind of tough i think in general the pv progression for uh this ways of intrigue season has been pretty spaced out it's less um packed in like the first few days like i think i achieved this on free to play account uh, probably after one week plus maybe 10 10 to 12 days so generally i think even progressing smoothly you should be able to eventually reach the end at the same pacing as i did so that's uh, pretty much the general progression so um i think for this season itself one thing which i strongly encourage people to do is to go through all the story because even the side quest has some really nice storyline to it and uh, obviously it's not for bonnie's animation but in today's video the style of the show is bonnie one of the upcoming characters so let's see whether or not we can catch a glance of her within the collection okay unfortunately no she's not within the collection yet so let's take a look at her within battle okay so let's go to the overview first so this is bonnie right so it's a cecia lookalike right here okay looks very very similar to cecia and let's see whether or not we can do the lenya moment okay uh we can't actually turn her unfortunately can't give you guys more fan service but if you take a look at her skills itself we have death mark arrow we have decay reach we have night four shift and then we have the hero focus as well as the blight search so right now she's at mythic blast when we are about to challenge her don't know much about this information but we can go into battle to see what uh each skill does right and then predict uh, how she will be like so without further ado let's challenge her so i'm gonna put two supports just to i'm just gonna put one support because my units are actually decently strong and might actually kill her so now let's take a look at this okay so there is a single target damage with debuff and then a volley of arrows so i'm i'm assuming that's the second and the third skill right so based on the skill itself there's some damage over time as you guys can see there's damage over time ticking on my smokey but my smokey is healing back up with his own heal so i believe the damage over time could be from the second skill or the third skill that is the volley of the arrows okay and now we have the ultimate okay sky strike throws a uh, arrow into the air and then drops it on the enemy to stun them and do massive damage very, very big damage there okay and then if we take a look at her skill over here uh okay so in this portion even though she's mythic plus she do not have her mythic plus ability unlocked yet i mean even though she's mythic plus but she hasn't unlocked the weapon ability so i believe right what we are able to see is just her three skills so single target nuke with a stun 
uh, this is probably the volley of arrows or the, the the haste down and then this is the volley of arrow based on the name itself i i kind of want to believe this is the this is a haste down because there's the case reach right and this is a uh, night fall shift which is her just shooting a volley of arrows so that's for the skill set itself and then one more thing i want to confirm is whether or not her debuff is a aoe one so let's start the battle once again see whether or not she applies a debuff to two targets okay okay that's only one target and uh, it seems like the volume of arrows only target one unit when she uses it okay okay one more thing i want to confirm is whether or not the ultimate skill has some sort of aoe inbuilt into it okay so she's just a normal attacker seems like her her she has some damage over time inbuilt into her okay so okay this i kind of i kind of missed this moment but the, i think when she used the ultimate itself smoky was actually not stunned so i believe i believe the ultimate doesn't have an aoe stun it's just a single target skill with uh, a little bit of aoe damage because i saw smoky's uh, hp drop there let me just run through the battle once again okay so just normal attack with uh, duty over time with haste down okay magical damage dealer with seven range by the way so i i guess she could be a new a level character that we run in the wish list because like uh the gravemon a levels are like not the most optimal in my honest opinion so i hope that this waifu over okay so there is no aoe damage on smoky so it's just a single target nuke just based on disability itself okay so it seems like a uh, bonnie is a very very simple character Hmm. very 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 simple character yeah she, she's just a character with uh, like single target damage as well as debuff potential unfortunately so i'm not gonna spoil too much of the story but uh she's part of obviously the dead type fleet with the grave bonds so the dead type fleet is linked to the grave bond and that's why she has a very similar aesthetic to sisia and i think she's more gatia than sisia based on the animation itself so yeah i guess that's pretty much it i think she'll probably be a dream realm centric character based on the looks of it because i think grave bond side has been relatively underrepresented in the grave bond faction and uh I think uh, they need more waifus there. <laughs> now it's a bunch of models running wild. Well. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about Bonnie so far. Whether or not you love the animation I showcased earlier, whether or not you'll pull for her, and whether or not her being A level actually turns you off, right? And whether or not her skill set excites you. Thank you very much for tuning in. Do remember to like and subscribe to see more. See you guys again in my next video. Bye, guys.